Okay. Hi, we've got Fusion open at the moment, and we're going to start off with a background sketch to start sculpting with. I'm going to open that file up. Just double click on it here, and it'll open up in the background, and we can close this panel. And what I'm going to do first of all is use the shift key and the middle mouse button to move around. And you'll notice that if I select on the right part of the cube, it'll turn the sketch around so I can see it. So we're just going to jump in and start sculpting straight away. You guys will have this same sketch. And to do that, we're just going to hit this purple button here and it'll come up and say you've entered the sculpt environment. And we'll say, OK. The first thing we want to do is create a sculpted pipe and select this middle curve and what it'll do then is it'll give us a pipe with lots of segments on there and that's okay but it's not really what I'm after so what I want to do is wind the segments back to the minimum and that'll give us one two three four five six nine ten segments which is exactly what we want and then what we want to do is add some other segments in here so you notice when I move my mouse along the curve it shows me a little red dot and if I click there it'll add a small circle there and if I select that circle I can actually change the size of it and what we want to do is sort of adjust this and add circles in to this pipe approximately here and then I select them and then make them a little bit larger and once we've done this it should make it too big Whoop. should give us roughly the size of the things that we're after once we have that we want to go to end types so at the moment if we have a look at the end types and see what's happening if we change the pipe to a smooth display you can see it looks a bit like a hose with a bit of a bulge and then if you change it to square it'll just change the ends and cover them in which is perfectly what we're after okay so the global diameter is fine we leave it in smooth, dial the segments back, we'll just say okay. What will happen is as soon as we create a sculpted object, it'll consume the sketch and we want to turn that back on so we can see it again. Okay, and if we want to modify it again, we can come in here and right click edit pipe and drop back in and make some changes. So, you know, if they're not big enough, then we can make them a little bit larger and make them a little bit larger again. And it sort of comes close to what we're after. So we'll say, okay. All right. So that's the beginnings of our outer form of our sculpted shape. What we're wanting to do now is jump in and probably make it match the background a little bit better. So as soon as we select a piece of the model and right click and say edit form, it'll take us into some new tools for that. And as soon as we make some adjustments in here, you know, like double clicking on an edge and moving it around, you'll notice that the little pipe disappeared up in here. So as soon as we start modifying this beyond just the pipe settings, it's no longer a pipe anymore. It's just a piece of sculpt, which is good. So what we're going to do is just come in and double click on these edges to select the whole ring and move them back in. And I'll select this outer face and move that in as well. Probably just push it back into here. Double click on this. Bring it closer to there. So if we grab this edge here and move it down, what we want to do is roughly get it close to match up with the outside sort of shape of what we have sitting in the sketch. And if we do this all the way down the model, it'll hopefully look reasonably good. If we grab this little thing here, we can push that down and make it a bit tighter on the end. All right. So the rest of it is just a matter of coming in and selecting these and moving them along. We won't in the beginning get too carried away with making it too exact because as we get further in, it'll take a bit more adjustment to get them close. And at the end of the day, the sketch that we've created is really just a rough guideline. It's not a perfect thing. We don't have to make it exact. If we had a photograph of a sculpted shape in the background and we were trying to match that, then, you know, then we can be fairly accurate. But at the moment, it's just a rough guide to get things into place. Okay, and then if I select anything 
in the wrong way, then we can always come back and make adjustments for that as well. But I think for the time being, like this here, it's going to collapse a bit and I can rotate it around and grab some of these edges. So as I'm grabbing these edges, they cut across the middle of the line here and that's okay. If we go back to the right view up the top, we can modify where these parts are as well, which sometimes is useful. All right, so if we move this back down to here, grab this one, drop them down to there. We're starting to arrive at a bit of sculpted form that's looking okay. What also happened is as we were sculpting along here, this is looking a little bit unusual. So what we can do is we can do a non-uniform scale by dragging this out, making it a bit wider. And so in the controller in the middle here, you can see that you've got move commands and then there's scale up and scale to the side. Just do control Z back and it's okay. So we just want to scale that back down a little bit. So if you scale in the middle, that's uniform scale up and down. And then these allow you to non-uniform scale backwards and forwards. Okay. And then on here, we'll probably just come back and get those roughly right. So just the end there, we probably need to try and scale this one out a little bit as well. Oh, so you notice as soon as we did that on one side, so you only selected one edge, and if I non-uniform scale that, it makes it uneven. It's not really what we're after. So if we control Z back from there, you have to make sure that you double click on the edge to make it work for the whole thing uniform. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So come in back down here and bring that there. All right, and I think we're pretty well where we need to be for the first part of the outer form sculpting to be complete.